Alrighty guys, so I'm going to be showing you an extra one point perspective video. This video is going to show you how to draw shapes in one point perspective that make them look 3D and they're also overlapping. So let's get started. So what I'm going to do is I am going to draw a horizon line close to the bottom of my paper just like that. My vanishing point is going to go off to one side, to the left hand side just like that. And then I'm going to draw my five geometric shapes. Any kind of shapes you want, it doesn't matter what kind. Square, circle, rectangle, um, decagon, hexagon, parallelogram, anything you want to do. Where is my last shape? So now I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to start connecting the vanishing point to the corners of all of the shapes. I'm going to start with the shape that is closest to the vanishing point, which is that triangle. I can actually connect all three points to the vanishing point. Next, I'm going to go ahead and tackle the square above the triangle. So again, I'm drawing lines to all of the corners, just like that. And then I drew one more line, just like that. Okay. The next shape is going to be the rhombus. If you notice, I can't draw a line from the vanishing point to the rhombus because the triangle is in the way. So what I'm doing is I'm just making sure that my ruler is lined up with the vanishing point and with the rhombus and I am starting my lines from the triangle. Okay. So again, I'm not drawing through the triangle. I'm just measuring, not measuring, I am lining up the vanishing point and the corners of the shapes and I'm making sure that I am drawing all of the lines that I need to draw. So now my circle is actually behind not only the triangle but also the rhombus and this rectangle. So whenever you are doing this uh, extra one point perspective exercise, you got to make sure that you know which shapes you would like in the front and which shapes you would like behind. And I know it's a little complicated and my ruler was in the way for a lot of this video. So if you need me to demo in class, I'd be more than happy to do that. Just let me know. Thanks and have fun.